they woke up from their slumber knowing that they had been released from the subjugation of the prison they were held in and trapped for years. The ground they stood on shook and the earth felt their presence for their origin is unknown. As they stood tall it frightens nature through the turbulence in the ocean but something significant took place which was amazing and unexpected for these extraterrestrial beings wept and shed tears for the late Kyu Ang whom died due to the radiation being released into the air and they took his body and buried him made him a tombstone and carved his name on it as the ocean parted ways as they walk magnificently on earth for they were embodied with unadulterated power and uncomfortable acting president Ulich who regrettably is beginning to question his decision in the agreement in conjunction with the representatives from the eastern hemisphere of the Chinese Japan anti-Plutonian coalition in activating the endgame protocol he conscientiously began to ask more questions and along the line realized that they weren't forthcoming with the whole truth as the endgame protocol wasn't much of a weapon but trapped extraterrestrial beings in a radiated facility in which were trapped and imprisoned by China for if they had told him this from the beginning he wouldn't have agreed to activate the end game protocol to keep his mind at ease sort of they told him that the Chinese scientists believe the extraterrestrial beings have a connection with the plutonian and that their powers is far more superior to the plutonian what was more devastatingly shocking to the acting president was that they have reasons to believe not for a fact that they can control the extraterrestrial beings reason to believe acting president Olich couldn't believe what he was hearing for they lied to him and were intentionally deceitful by telling him that they swore these extraterrestrial beings were under their control and command in which was a weapon they built themselves designed and engineered as a secret failed safe against American supremacy in which politically kind of makes sense at that time now realizing that their intentions were not of any positive agenda the acting president ordered his agents to arrest the representatives from the eastern hemisphere with immediate effect they objected and opposed him doing this for this was an act of war but acting president Ulrich cared less about their diplomatic status as he ordered his agents to lock them in the worst hole ever and if any of them say a goddamn word they should be shot as they were taken away a scared terrified head of environmental protection agency rushed into the acting president's office to inform him of the dangers that was coming towards them explaining to him that a secret nuclear facility at the offshore of china had exploded and the radiation of the nuclear explosion was blowing towards the western hemisphere not knowing that the acting president was aware of this continued to tell him that the radiation from the nuclear explosion was intense as the wind blows and sweeps from the east to the west as australia and india had been hit and people are dropping like flies and worst of all the radiation will arrive the western hemisphere in less than 24 hours and there was nothing they can do about it for it was too late for public evacuation now the plan was to go look for elliot who had been in hiding for years because when charlie beast alias the survivor shared his powers equally with his brothers it changed them and overwhelmed elliot as he perceived this gift as a curse and abomination which could cause a lot of wreckage to the world in this he turned his heart to a supreme being as it was impossible to reverse the power back to his brother the survivor and also it wasn't possible for him to delinquish the powers within him this is where Gigamos comes in as an angel whom had been in existence for centuries if possible more and never for once had he let his powers get into his head he will be the right person to convince and recruit Elliot in using his powers for the good of humanity as Gigamos will be a suitable guide and mentor to help him use his powers responsibly in which Gilgamos agreed. To find Elliot was a bit complex as Sila concentrated on Elliot's essence in finding him. Now there was no more quantum jumper as Qubit destroyed it all. But during captivity under zombified Sila, Kaidan developed a new power in which she is able to teleport through the 
the afterlife. But it must be known that the afterlife realm has terrifying sins, which is possible to corrupt the mind of an individual, as Sila warned. So when traveling through the afterlife, it was advisable for Gilgamesh and Kaidan to close their eyes while they followed the voice of Sila as he led them to the location of Elliot. Shockingly to them, they found Elliot on his knees in the presence of Charibis, alias the survivor, as Sila walked past his brother Charibis to Elliot, telling him that they need his help now more than ever. Taking the lift and going upstairs for whatever reason, Betty Noah was followed by Kota, who had her eyes on her, especially when she knows Betty Noah was mentally unstable, for she had tried to kill herself and that will not be good if the Plutonian comes back to meet a dead Betty Noah, as she believed and told her that her and the Plutonian had a special bond, that Betty Noah seems to know the Plutonian more than anyone intimately. As Betty Noah warned her that going into the mind of the Plutonian was dangerous, but Kota interrupted her that she could handle the mind of the Plutonian, which Betty Noah warned her further that the Plutonian she knows too well is probably regretting bringing her with him from Genom. As Kota refuted her in letting Betty Noah know that her notion are invalid and not true, for the Plutonian had companions and friends who he can rely on, but most importantly, ones who can truly understand his mind. Truly understand his mind? Are you off your medication? As Betano rebutted Carter's theory of trying to understand the Plutonian. That in all honesty, the Plutonian doesn't want to be understood. That in fact, the Plutonian is terrified of being understood. For the Plutonian doesn't know he does these things, as she is a case study. And that for now, Carter is just a place sex thing he needs in his moment of sexual weakness. For she is no better than the ones before her, in which for that moment he let his guard down, just a little, then build up a strong genuine emotional connection with someone. After a while, for some psychotic reason, the Plutonian began to worry, fearing that the person will see the true him, which is very dark. An example is Samsara. He bonded with him with all genuity, but because the Plutonian is accustomed to rejection, he respected rejection from Samsara for his actions and even if Samsara hadn't rejected him he will create a way for his friend Samsara to reject him for he expects it a way in punishing himself for whatever darkness he is dealing within himself unfortunately Bettinor still has suicide in mind as she was about to jump to her death from the top of the skyscraper Kota quickly snatched her from behind the revelation at hand is that Kota is not Kota for she is being inhabited by Modius from Genom when he left the mechanical body of Modius android, telling Betty Noor that she was the perfect vessel which will be his as he observed that the Plutonian loves and still trusts her as Cotter, whom is being inhabited by Modius, transferred his binary packet self into the body of Betty Noor which was too late for her to reject Modius's influence as Betty Noor, whom is being inhabited by Modius flipped the lifeless body of Kota down the building as Modius consciously gained full control of Betty Noor. Still not wanting to help, Elliot begged to be left alone. But furious Charibis, alias the survivor, was irritated and warned Elliot to choose his next answer wisely, as he is in no mood for his self-righteousness. A confused Sila asked Elliot what the problem was and what was Charibis, alias the survivor, talking about. In which Elliot explained to him that Charibis, alias the survivor, had come to kill him so that he can consume his powers like he claimed his. A furious Charibis, alias the survivor, replied Elliot that he did not kill Sila, the Plutonian did, and that Elliot is a holy adult, childish, backward thinking jackass. At this time, the survivor was ready to strike at Elliot, but before he knew what was happening, Gilgamesh struck him from behind with his harpoon by ripping through his heart as the survivor falls down and slowly ebbs away. As Sila screams at Gilgamesh on his actions, for Gilgamesh believed that 
by killing the survivor who at the moment had gone out of his mind and let his powers get into his head, it will transfer his powers into Elliot whom is cautious and God-fearing. But he was wrong as Charibis, Alaya's survivor, was the source of the power of the triplets and within a blink of an eye, Elliot lost all his powers as it leaves his body and their hope and plan in defeating the Plutonian was gone. Still meditating in the deepest part of the ocean, the Plutonian became aware of the extraterrestrial beings and immediately went for the attack by striking them with his laser fiery beam in which they deflected. So he went straight at them, jacking and lifting them out of the ocean and asking them who they were. As in turn of events, they grabbed the Plutonian and told him that they were his best parents.